live. Hopefully we're up. Twitch, YouTube, let us know if y'all can hear us. We should be good. Welcome. Welcome. Real, welcome. real quick, ahead, while Jack. the people are fi filing in, um, Jay Will, Low, and Chilton, I would like to hear all three of you guys' snubs for the top 75. Um, I thought Dwight Howard should have been the top 75 player. Not at the expense of Dame Lillard, but I thought he should have been the top 75 player. At the expense of who then? All right. That's what that was my question. Well, you could have made it. He could have put. He could have been in front of. What has Anthony Davis done in the top in the, in the last ten years to make him go in front of Dwight Howard? Can I ask a question? Why not in the expense of Reggie Miller? If anyone could answer that. <laughs> Starting <laughs> off hot. Okay. Yeah, I just want to know. I just want to. Yeah. You go. You go. Ad. Then you go. Not Dame. So why not? Like why not Reggie? Just what are we basing it on for Reggie? Other than those other players. I'm going to tell you what they're basing it on. They're basing it on who was nice to the media and who was nice voting for them folks. Okay, That's thank it. you. That's okay, <laughs> right. All right. So, he's, so, so I ain't basing it on my side a little bit, I'm hoping. Wait, wait, wait. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not basing it on that at all. I'm basing it on the fact okay. that Dame Lillard been, been in the league for nine years. And in the nine years he's mm -hmm. been in the league, eight of the nine years, his team been in the playoffs and he's been the man. That's what I know. Mm -hmm. I know that Dame Lillard six times of those nine years he's been on the All-NBA team and been a first-team All-League performer. I know that for a fact. So I'm yeah, not on that media. I'm not on that media being nice to the media and all of that. And not only that, I've won playoff series. Me alone, I've won playoff series in terms of Damian Lillard. So Dwight so Howard has been dominant. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, so you say Dwight's been dominant. I, I just feel mm -hmm. like people, like, I don't know what the criteria was in selecting, like, at mm -hmm. all. So I can't even, so when people say, oh, Dame is cool there, AD is cool, I think Dwight, is the biggest snub. Mm -hmm. If you go by what are you marginalizing it on, you picking you picking Giannis who deserves to be there based on what he's done so far. Like that's and, and the, what his future projection is. So it's Kawhi Leonard. He's there because of that. But when you do Dwight Orlando numbers, it's ridiculous. Based on that right there, he should be in. Because if Kawhi don't come back, continue what he's doing, I don't think his individuals like It'd be like, oh, yeah, he made it all for those early years. But his back end, so Dwight got blamed for his back end, like he didn't for his what he did while he was playing. So I think Dwight should be there before Reggie Miller. That's who, that's my biggest snub, Dwight. And it could be for Reggie Miller. Yeah, I I, I don't I don't think Dame Lillard, you, you, like, Dame Lillard for sure should be on there, in my opinion. You know what I mean? That's that's mm -hmm. not a, like, I would I don't even really know the whole list. But I'm sure there's people on there that I, I don't think should be on there. Like, like Dwight Howard for sure should be on. I argue with people all the time. Right. Like, he's a Hall of Famer, bro. There's, there's no, in my opinion, bro. There's, there, there, there's nobody that, that, with his numbers and the things that he's done for the game, fuck all the shit on the side, bro. Like, all that's when we could take all 75 players and really dissect those guys, and they've right. done all kind of crazy stuff off the floor too that don't that don't, that. That probably warrants them not for being on the 75 team list. But Dwight Howard's numbers, bro, you can't argue that. You can't <laughs> at all. Men, men and women lie, bro. Numbers don't ever lie. <laughs> J. Will, J. Will, what about Clay, though? What about Clay Thompson? See, like I said, I don't did he even make the list? Not no, he even. Didn't. No, no, he didn't. no, no, no. He didn't. No. He was like a friend, he was I mean, a fringe player. Yeah, he's a hell of a player. Don't get me wrong. Like Hall of Famer, probably, you know, all that, but. I'm not so sure Clay Thompson will be Clay Thompson on another in another in another on another team. I don't I mean I'm not saying he couldn't be, but I, I would I, if I had to bet money, I'd I'd put my money on him not being as successful on in another team as he is in Golden State. Who's on the other mm -hmm. team with him? That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. I don't know. You know, right, right, right. I'm along the lines of old school, like if you'd have put Steve Nash in Toronto or Steve Nash in 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 Memphis, Steve Nash ain't the MVP, bro. Well, if you got to if you got to argue, if you have to argue who's with him, then there's your answer right there. Because when you're talking about the all time greats, my game travels. It don't matter where I'm at. I'm nice. Doesn't make a difference. Kevin Durant, Jordan, James. I can just I can run down the list of guys. Jabbar, Chape. Wherever I go, I'm nice. It doesn't make a difference. Now, when you got to argue, I don't know if he'd be that good in Dallas. So I don't know if he'd be that good. Well, there's your answer right there. I agree with you. I agree. But I don't I don't believe that because like my biggest 
like Reggie Miller. He's on the list, and I think Clay Thompson or any team could be a Reggie Miller. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. So, so, that's so the, you could say. So if you're saying that, so if, if your logic is that, if that's the case, then that means that Reggie Miller could do the same thing that Clay Thompson was doing with better with a better supporting cast. In fact, he would be better because I didn't play with nearly as good players as he's playing with, and you basically comparing him to me. So if I was on if I was on that Golden State team with Steph Curry and with Draymond Green and with those guys, how much nicer would I be than Clay Thompson? It would be. I think they would exactly be the exact same player. So that's my point. And when you look at numbers, you have to look at those two players. Right here. So if you look at his all-star appearances, when it's that even, you have to go with what you brought. The all-star appearance, all of this stuff. So Reggie Miller, I think he made five or six maybe, mm-hmm. second, one or two all-NBA uh, all team. Mm-hmm. It, it's it's so close. It, and then Clay has more to go. He still has more stuff to accomplish. So it's like, damn, like, Clay could have been there for me over Reggie. Reggie might be the only one on the list that I think, I don't know, he might be a second ballot Hall of Famer, didn't get vote on the first one in and all this stuff. So I'm mm-hmm. just like, I just think Clay, Clay, if Clay had anybody aside, they should put him and Reggie together and think of it over. But with myself, Reggie, nostalgic feeling of it being Re- Reggie Miller time, it puts a lot of fear in people's heart. Me being a Knicks fan, I knew what Reggie was, but he wasn't as... Oh. Exactly. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, that was me. You said Clay Thompson. You said Clay Thompson wouldn't be as successful, right, without the Warriors. Like, what do you mean by that? You mean as if like championship wise or his game wise? Like, what did you mean by that? Uh, I'm saying I, I I didn't say he wouldn't be. I'm saying I don't think he would be because mm-hmm. because with 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 the guys that he's playing with in Golden State, that takes so much pressure off. Like like if he goes to another team and he's the guy. You know, he ain't getting all these looks like he is. You know what I mean? I, I just think. I, 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 I get what you mean with that, but I agree with Dell as if, like, just because you didn't have the opportunity to showcase that talent doesn't mean that talent isn't there, you know? I believe that talent is there for Clay Thompson. I think he's very underrated with him being able to move with the ball in his hands and create plays for others. We just don't see a lot of that because he's playing next to Steph Curry and Draymond Green. Dub, Plus, so what type of player would he be without the accolades of Golden State? Like if he was on a Without different team. Without the accolades, like no rings yeah. and everything. I, I Basically mean, I like can't, a Bradley Bill. You can't Bill. ask that question, though. We, we can because if Bradley Bill was in a different situation I, surrounded answer. by other superstars, he would have a totally different career. But now the fact that he's not surrounded by superstars, he's just Bradley Bill. And nobody gives can't that credit. You, no, you can't sp- ask that question because Clay was a part of that upbringing. It's not like they plucked Clay from somewhere. No, no for Clay sure, for sure. With them. So he started sure. with them. He built that. I'm just saying if he was, of course, you Dale, we all see that. No, right. So the, it's, it's, it's not like, you know how you hate KD and you said KD just walked into the well oil machine? Clay was there oiling. So whatever happened, like, the, 1, Warriors 000, 1, 000, wouldn't, the Warriors 1, wouldn't be oiled without Clay. But just what like does that have to, with with have to do with him as a player individually? What does that have to do with him as an individual player? Take away everything else. What does that have to do with Shaq, him individually? That's, that's all I'm facts. asking. I'm not asking it, anything oh, I'll else. I'll answer that. Everything fact, else that okay. you're asking, I'm not asking let's, right let's, now. I'm not asking no questions. I'm stating the fact. The f- yeah, said, th- that's a, that's a, his, that fact doesn't his, apply to this situation. Yes, it does, because his individual okay. skill made the machine go. That's okay. why. You can't put right. Bradley Beal, take Bradley Beal with that same Warriors team. They're not the same machine. No ma- even from wants the to know, even from the wants beginning. to know if Carl Malone underachieved. Now you want to change the subject. Hold on, Shaq. I'm, this, this is what, what my man talking about. This, this is really good stuff because don't make it sound like Bradley Bill wasn't mentioned with John Wall as the best backcourt in the game. So let's not, yeah, let's I not mean, make it sound like it was never stuff. taken serious, though. It wasn't, yes, it was. It was, never it taken was serious. Shaq, don't yes, it was. Just because, don't just be, wait, wait a minute, Shaq. Just because, I'm be, just because there's a backcourt that's better, that doesn't mean that mm-hmm. we're whack. Cause that's what it sounds like. No, you're they, no, they weren't. It, no, 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 no. They were. They were not whack. They were not whack. I was. No, they were not whack. It was. It was empty carnival. Uh, empty stats carnival a little bit, but they weren't whack. <laughs> Here you go. Here yeah. you go. <laughs> we, we knew that was coming. We, we, <laughs> right. we, knew, the, we knew the empty stats was coming, even though they I mean, was. A, you know, it did have some playoff success. The empty stats. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. I, feel you. Yeah. I, feel you. I yeah. just want to dub just. Dub just yeah. wants to know if Carmelo <laughs> underachieved, and I don't know if he is directing that to Unk. Well, I, I, no, low. no, 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 Low, Low, you remember that clubhouse we was on? We was arguing. You remember low that? Low agrees. Yeah. Low is in line. Yeah, with I this. definitely agree with that. With the underachieving thing, right? Yeah. Man, I remember I remember your whole argument. Unfortunately. So like, yeah, yeah. Re- repeat. Um, why. Whoa, whoa. 
Well, 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 yeah. Enlighten me on how Malone got under you. I'm about to right. you. Right. So, repeat, so repeat everything that you mentioned that day. Me, right? I'm all there. A, a player, a player who y'all deem a top twenty player who played alongside, who y'all claim is one of the best point guards of all time. No, right? we don't claim that. The numbers claim that. Don't say we. Did, we not just well, making this up. The numbers that's say gonna, that. That's gonna make the argument worse for him. So, okay. a, player, a point guard who is what you're saying is one of the best point guards of all time. Okay. Then on top of that, he played with. A supporting cast that featured uh, Mark Eaton, Defensive Player of the Year, and um, yeah, yeah. candidate. Okay, he played with he played with um, several different third options, all the way from Hornacek to Thur- Thurl Bailey, a quality <laughs> bench, and on top of that, he, he had a coach that put in a system that actually, like, that actually was beneficial to like his style of play. It's not like he was like fighting in, in an offensive scheme that didn't work out for him. Mm-hmm. For him to for him to underachieve like that in the playoffs, like I don't know what else y'all would call that. So, man, wait, wait, wait. Now that man was that man was it? losing in the playoffs re- routinely. Like I don't know what y'all want to what y'all want to okay. say about that. Okay. So the main, hey, the, Dub, main thing you, the main thing he was talking about was the first round exits, because everybody in their career loses in the playoffs. Everybody, everybody loses in the playoffs. It just happens. It's it's players. It's, it's human nature. The main thing he went off was the first round exits. Correct. Mm-hmm. No, I mean that, and but in totality, that yeah, he has more him. But when him and um John Stockton were playing alongside one another, they had more mm-hmm. first round exits than conference finals appearance. Him and John Stockton together in the playoffs have a losing record in the playoffs. Even when even what you're saying, like everybody losing in the playoffs, mm-hmm. bro, I don't I don't know that many players who've lost in the playoffs that off that common with a, a quality team around him. Mm-hmm. That doesn't make any sense to me. Who they lose to? So so before we go any further, who they lose to? Let's start with that. They lost to the Warriors before um, Mitch Richmond came. When did they, they lose to the Warriors? In 90, either 1990 or 91. Okay, so keep going. Who else did they lose to? They lost to the Suns before Barkley came. No, they didn't. They so lost- keep going. No, they, they didn't did. lose to the they Suns. They did. They did. When did they lose to the Suns? 1990. Okay, the Suns, that was in the Western Conference Championship. Okay, keep going. Uh, and actually, they, they did. They lost- they didn't lose to the Suns in ninety. They lost to the to the Trailblazers in ninety. But keep going. I'm sorry. So they they lost to. Uh, uh, let me let me. I'll make sure. I'll I'll list them off so we all on the Jay same. Will, Jay Will, what you got for us? Man, I I John Stockton and Carl Malone. I can't believe this. This is nuts to me. <laughs> that was me. That was <laughs> me. I can't believe. I, that was me. Right go, go that was me. Go, go ahead, Jaywell. <laughs> I'm happy I don't got to be going, Shaq. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing bad to say about John Stockton and Carl Malone. I mean, I don't know their stats like you guys are spitting them out, and that seems bad and all, but, man, you guys go try to guard that pick and roll, bro, and tell me how y'all. <laughs> so, let, 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 hey, Jay Will, let, let, let's take let's take the, the guard, because you, you were there. You know more. You know this more than any of us, right? So right, for me right. to listen to a guy tell me that a guy who averaged 28 and 11 for 11 straight years, a guy who was first team all NBA for 11 straight years, I don't know how you view things, but I take being an all NBA performer very seriously. And if I'm a first team all NBA performer for a decade, that means that I'm the guy. It sounds to me like you basing this primarily on him winning in the playoffs. Now, when I look at his success in the playoffs, five times in seven years, they was in the Western Conference Finals. And let me make sure I'm getting this correct. They lost to the Trailblazers, who were in the finals. They lost to Olajuwon, who won the NBA championship twice. And remind me again, who beat 23? Remind me again so I'm clear, who beat 23? Because I think nobody. Not to mention, wait a minute, I'm not done. Wait a minute, I'm not done. (laughs) With that also also being said, John Stockton, we're talking about a guy, 11 years, 16 and 13 in 11 years straight. Right, including three of those eleven years, he went seventeen and fourteen. How are we talking about a dude today going seventeen and fourteen in the NBA? What are we talking about? Get it up, look. Get it up. How are we talking about? Go ahead. So, 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 in so in so in eighty nine, they lost to the Warriors. That team got they lost in the next round. They did not make the conference finals. The next year, they lost to the Phoenix Suns, a mm-hmm. team. This this is before before mm-hmm. Barkley came. Mm-hmm. Yes, did they make it to the um conference finals that year? Sure, but they still mm-hmm. lost in the first round to the Suns. Mm-hmm. The next year they lose to the Trailblazers in the second round, granted. And which one which year? I'm sorry, this, which year? This is 91. This is before okay. the Blazers made it to the finals, but they still okay. play in the second round. And then 92, they finally whoa, 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 stop right there. Before you go any further, before you go any further, let me make sure I'm getting this correct. So 91, that would be they lost to the defending Western Conference champs the next year. Is that correct? Who the um Portland Trailblazers? 
No, the, the Utah Jazz, they lost to the defending Western Conference champs. Is That's that correct? Man. Okay, yeah. So, so okay, keep going. Then in, in 92, they lost to Portland again. Okay, uh, the, the, again, the defending Western Conference champs. We're going back to the finals. They've been to the finals twice in three years. Keep going. Okay. And then in 93, they lost to the Supersonics. Okay, who was in the Western Conference finals. Keep going. Bro, you're going to – all right, whatever. They, 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 those teams are getting that deep in the playoffs because they're losing to they, – they're beating the Jazz. You no, keep no, 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 no. keep 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 go, keep no, you going. Can't, so, you can't so it has, it like that. You he can do that. That's like a that's that. a fair no, context. No, no, no. So, so wait, 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 Shaq. Hold on, Shaq. Wait a minute, Shaq. Wait, wait, wait a minute, Shaq. Keep going. Wait a minute, Shaq. Keep going. So in '94, who in '94 who they lose to? They lose. They lose to the Rockets. Who won the NBA championship? And Olajuwon had a top five team. He had a top five. He had a top five. Let me make sure I'm getting this correct. Olajuwon had a top five season in NBA history. So keep going. They lost to the Rockets back to back in ninety four. Okay, and, and what happened to the Rockets in ninety five back to back? What they do? Uh, won championships for sure. Okay, so they won to they lost to the NBA champion. Keep going. Then they lost to um uh um SuperSonics in the uh, conference finals. Grand okay, Super. keep going. Uh, then they and then there's Bulls back and back. Okay, what happened to the Bulls? What did then, the Bulls do? They won a championship. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Keep keep, keep, keep going. <laughs> Then, okay. Then, uh, but you didn't have the energy when they lost to the Warriors in the first round. Wait, wait, wait. Warriors. Keep going. Keep going. So in ninety, no, no, no. 90... When they when they lost to the Warriors in the first round, who got this bounced out in, in the next season, no, you can say nothing. That's I'm cool. That's, 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 that's I'm right cool. here hold with on. you. That's hold that's on, cool. Hold that's cool. No, no. The only thing I'm about what you're saying is, let's say the Warriors in 1990, right? You have it's it's every superstar, every great team is is learning curves. Like 1990, of course, they could have been they was the favorite, but isn't. It's eight years, you know what I'm saying? This the joint happened. Dirk Nowitzki lost in the first round as a number one seed to the Warriors. And he has to you wear should... that. Nobody doesn't right. nobody but... doesn't nobody doesn't like try to retract when other people lose. Like if you lose, it's it's, it's bro, not a retracting. Lost. It's like it's of course you lost, but to say underachieve, like basically to, this is why I don't agree yeah. to an extent. To say underachieve <laughs> is giving bro. power to Shaq when he says empty stats, <laughs> which That's I exactly hate. So that's exactly no, what you're no, 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 doing. Not absorbing that power. Absorbing all that power. No, but when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're making an argument, when you're making an argument of two of the best players at their position playing on the same team with one another mm -hmm. in their prime with mm -hmm. quality role players around them or mm -hmm. a quality supporting cast mm -hmm. with a competent coach, bro, any other player in that exact same circumstance is making it to the conference finals every. Routinely, so, they made it to the conference finals. I don't know about that. I don't Durant, know. Durant, 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 Durant and Westbrook. Durant, 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 Durant and Westbrook. Did they not make it to the um conference finals routinely? Not routinely. They, no, they didn't. They were in the conference finals three times in five years. That's not the same as five and seven years. It's not the same thing. No, it's not. Routinely, not routinely. I the know. Only, the only, the only time that they didn't make it to the conference finals was when they were hurt, though. So even what you're saying that isn't putting things into the context. But God forbid that I don't tell the exact oh, the whole story they were and hopeful. I'm the bad guy. They lost because they weren't healthy. That's but when, the when idea. They were bad guy, when they, no, you don't. But don't no, no, but when, I, no, but, no. But when I was healthy, no. though, when I was healthy, when they were healthy. <laughs> They made it to the conference finals. You're talking about a team that had those two players plus a supporting cast losing to the Warriors in the first round. If that's anybody else in that same circumstance, this is not what y'all are saying. No, 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 he's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong. If Giannis and him lose the first round this year. No, but Jay Wood is on time for you. We're not wasting it on Carmelo. But if Giannis and Chris Middleton lose in the first round this year, y'all not going to sit here and say, hey, man. They lost to the Miami Heat. They got to the conference finals. Got when they lost to the that. Golden State Warriors, it was a four and five seed. It's not okay, that Dub, far. Thank off. you for that. All right, Dub, I'm not, uh, <laughs> let's move along. Like you guys. <laughs> hey, so there's been, I'm sure everyone's seen on the internet. Everyone's telling Kobe stories. Jay, will we want to know if you have a Kobe story that you would share with us? Man, I, I don't have many, bro. I mean, just like I remember one time we were playing, we were playing at the forum. So it was back in the day, you know, like early on in my career. And mm -hmm. We were, we were kind of giving them the business. Uh, it was like, <laughs> it was like, I don't know. It was, it was mid, mid fourth quarter. And, and, and he was at the scores. They were about to check in. And, and I, I remember like it was yesterday, bro. I was on the bench thinking I had never spoke to Kobe in my whole life, you know, not even what's up, this, that, and the other. 
And he's sitting at the scores table. I'm on the bench. I'm thinking, man, I wish coach would put me in just not to get back in the game, just so I could go sit beside Bean at the at the scores table and just mm-hmm. maybe maybe he'd say what's up to me, bro. And that would just make my life, right? So mm-hmm. so sure enough, that happened. And I go up there and I'm like just like kind of staring at him. I'm like, I know he's thinking, like, man, this dude is weird. Like, <laughs> at me like, dang, like I wanted to ask for a picture or something like that, but he, he looked at me and I caught my eye contact and I'm like, what's up, bro? And he said, he said. He didn't even say what's up. He said, "Are y'all are y'all done having fun?" I'm thinking to myself, "What do you mean? I'm finna I'm finna <laughs> kick that in. Nah, well, I'm finna take it up a notch, bro. Like we're in L.A. You know, first time I went to form, he's like, nah, this shit, y- y'all y'all's day is over. You know, it's like yeah. six minutes left in the game. Y'all are up twelve. Y'all will probably lose by at least six. I'm thinking, man, ain't no way, bro. We lost by eight when Buddy checked back. <laughs> <laughs> like one of the only stories I got of him, bro. And, and, and yeah. when people ask, that's the one I got to tell, man. All right, so we that's know fire. that's oh, amazing. That's uh, awesome. We know that you're close to Shaquille O'Neal. Do you have a good Shaq story for us? Surely you have hundreds. I do, man. Jay, well, they're not talking about me. The other, the other Shaq, the other yeah, one, you know. Yeah, I mean. There's so many stories about Shaq. Like I, I try, people ask all the time, like kind of dude is he? And it's like, what you guys see on TV, that, that's the kind of guy he is, man. He's always playing jokes, always playing pranks. And um, I tell it, I, I, I'm going to tell it, and I don't know if I'll get in trouble or what, but in 06, the year we won it in Miami, uh, Zoe always kept a uh, some, some clippers up in his locker, you know, to shave his face or whatever. Um, and Shaq was always in the, in the gym early. I was usually the first one there for practice, but Shaq got there not, not too long after I did. And Shaq decided to, to take Zoe's clippers and go in the bathroom and 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 not shave his face, you know, shave, <laughs> shave. Right? So look, so it's all, it's all, it's all white marble in the, in, on the sink in the, in the heat locker room. So it, he, ta- he takes the clippers, does his thing, and he wraps them back up and puts the jumps back up there like, you know, he ain't did nothing. And like the clippers haven't been touched. So, when the trainer gets in the locker room, he sees all this hair all over the sink, you know, in the, in the sink, on the counter, and, 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 he, and, and he's getting mad because our trainer was like one of these clean dudes, right? Everything had to be neat, straight, whatever. So he, he, he comes, comes around and asks, you know, what's going on? Who, who shaved their hair or whatever on the sink, didn't clean it up or whatever? Shaq was like, I don't know. You better ask one of them white boys. There's four white boys on the team now. Me, Chris, <laughs> Mike Doliak, and Jason Capona, right? So Col- those other three dudes was like straight legs. So he comes straight to me thinking I'm the, I'm the culprit. I'm the one that did this. Right. So I'm like, all right, Colt, you think it's me? Well, first of all, I'm going to show you. I just pulled my pants down right now. I got all the hair. <laughs> and, 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 and shape, right. So we go in there and he goes to Capono and Dolly. I, I tell him, no, you ain't got to go to each other. Just bring them all in here. Bring them in here. I said, pull your pants down. And they're looking at me like, what do you mean? I said, just pull your shit down. Show the trainer. Man. So they pull them. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got their hair right there too. Now look, now, when I took it a step further. I said, come on in here. Let's look at these uh, the hair on the sink and dissect this kind of curly hair compared to this white boy hair. It's just different, bro. It's the <laughs> black dude's pubic hair and white dude's pubic hair. It's just different. So I said, look, there you go. It's not a white guy. So now I don't know who done it, but it wasn't one of us four. Now you go find out. <laughs> I don't know when we found out if Shaq did it or not. So I, that's what I'm asking. They'll know. They'll know now. That's right. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't breathe. All right. So uh, on the show, these last couple weeks, we've been doing player versus player, and we list off categories. And you're going to tell me who you're taking in that category. We're doing Magic Johnson versus Steph Curry. The categories are scoring threat, playmaking ability, basketball IQ finishing playoffs and better overall career. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to go in order. Everyone's going to go and just say one player or the other. And then when we get through all the categories, we can debate because everyone's going to have different answers and they're going to want to get clarification as to why you're picking Magic or Steph over the other. All right. The order we're going to go in is going to go hmm. How do I want to do this? Where you go, Shaq, Dub, Dell, Low, Chill, J. Will. All right. And you'll say our names. And yeah, I'll I'll say the names. Magic Johnson no. versus Steph Curry, scoring threat. Shaq. Steph Curry. Curry. Dell. 
Curry. Low. Curry. Chill. Curry. J. Will. Curry. Playmaking ability. Shaq. I got a question. <laughs> hey, Shaq, don't start. <laughs> Shaq. <laughs> Shaq. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay. All right. Okay, okay. Magic, magic. Dumb. Magic. Sorry, go ahead, Dub. Magic. 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 They will. Oh. Can you guys hear him? No, yeah. I can't hear us. Oh, I can't hear Are him. Are you muted, Jay Will? No, I didn't touch oh. nothing. Bro. Okay, who who did you have? I have Magic Johnson. All right. Okay. Basketball IQ, Shaq. Magic, and it's not even close. Magic. Dale. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Magic. Magic. Oh, man, Shaq. Jay Will. Magic all day, bro. Finishing. Shaq, this ain't that difficult, man. It's crazy. It's not right. that difficult, Shaq. Right. It's right. not. Ma magic. Magic Johnson. Dub. Magic. Dell. Steph. Low. Magic. Chill. Magic. J. Will. Magic Johnson. Playoff, Shaq. <laughs> oh, no. Come man. on, Oh, man. This like I'm, me I'm taking go, a I'm test. In, this like me taking a test in high school, waiting on my partner beside me to answer. The <laughs> For real, that, that's really what it sounds like, Jay. That's I'm, really I'm, what it sounds like. I'm I'm a, I'm a go I'm a go I'm a go I'm a go magic. <laughs> magic. <laughs> playoffs. I'm gonna go magic for the playoffs. He got magic. five rings. Magic. 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 Go ahead, Jay. Well, magic. But y'all gotta stop underrating Steph's performance. <laughs> We're not underrating it. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, Shaq. Yeah, Hold yeah. on. Yeah, Last question. Better overall player, Shaq. I gotta go, Steph. Dub. Magic. Dell. Steph. Low. Y'all, y'all really doing it, huh? Today, huh? <laughs> um. <laughs> Magic. Magic. J. Will. I go Magic Johnson. All right, you guys. Now, now can I get any go type ahead, of clarification Jack, on J. Will? And we can, I mean. <laughs> no, nah, that's crazy. No, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. This last season has has kind of altered everybody's vision of Steph because when he was winning those MVPs unanimously and doing all of that wild stuff, he was the best player to ever touch a basketball. But now all of a sudden he's having a down year in efficiency and they lost however many since Draymond's been down. I just when I when I look at the two and I'm building a team, I'm torn. But then I just look at Magic and I'm like, you can do so much more for me, in my opinion. I gotta put more around Magic than I do around Steph. That's mm. the only reason I choose Steph Curry. <clears throat> magic, magic is like LeBron. You have to put the right pieces in front of him. And if it's in front of him, you're going to 10 straight fine. You're doing all the wild things, you're achieving a lot. But with Steph, it's just so easy. It's like it's like Dale's KD argument. You can put any brown, anybody around Kevin Durant, and, and it's good. Except, let me ask you a quick question, just real quick, just just hypothetical. Is this to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If if let's just say, who's the five man in Golden State? Who's the center? Fluctuates. You should also okay. ask him who the point guard is, Jay. Well, no, I'm just saying, no, I'm the, just the, saying, the point guard of that team is Draymond Green. I'm okay. I'm just saying. Say Draymond Green's hurt in say Game Six of the Finals. Can Steph step in there and start at center? No. Like Magic did? Yeah, Jay, no, I, don't Will, think nobody here, I don't think nobody here is, 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 is doubting Steph Curry. I think everybody here agrees that he's freaking great. Right? I, I, I think so. I just think, you know, Magic Johnson is just – Magic Johnson is more versatile. He can, he can play more positions. Now, obviously, he can't shoot, can't score. I won't say can't score because he never had to score. But I mean, I I I, I feel your I feel your pain though, with Steph. But but Magic. Johnson, I don't want to caper, Steph, because I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a Steph caper. So Shaq, and, by show by show of hands in here, have we seen another Steph Curry in the league in the last I don't know, let's say last ten years? Have we seen another Steph Curry? Oh, gee, you're using my own argument against me. That's why. <laughs> but no, we haven't. This is my argument. I'm getting 
okay, no, I'll, I'll play this game. And <laughs> actually, actually, you don't have to because you already know where I'm going with this. So okay, this, yeah. doesn't, this, this doesn't make sense. I want to know. I don't know this game. Could I? Could I? Could this I'm gonna say I don't know. I don't know this game. You're either. not, you're not, not game letting either. them off the hook that easy. Chill. Go ahead. Yeah, I don't know this game. Oh, either. I don't know this game either. Okay, so the, the the point that I was getting to with him is we are seeing guys that are similar to Steph. Like Trey Young is on that path, like Steph Curry. Have we seen okay. anybody? Have we seen anybody in the last forty years like Magic? Yes. Who? Yes. Oh, name them. LeBron, LeBron James. Okay, now, 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 before you go any further, before you go any further, LeBron James, what is LeBron James considered? A great player. No, not a great player. Where you, where, where is he in the pantheon of players? Like top three One, two. for most people. Now Five. think about that. So the, so, the, so the guy that you just mentioned mm -hmm. is a top three player all time. Mm -hmm. The players that we've seen like Steph Curry. Who have we seen like Steph Curry? Trey Young? But, but, but okay, so I, I, get, what you're, I, mean, I, I get where yeah, you're going with this, but... Not... LeBron wasn't in, in, in year five or year four. No one was saying LeBron was the top three player ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nobody is was saying and nobody was saying that about Steph Curry in year three, neither. Okay, so that's that. So you can't say that we're comparing LeBron James, a finished product, to right. compare him to Magic. A with, that being, product. with that being Trey's said. Not finished. Okay. Trey's I'm not glad finished. You, you, can't, you know what I'm saying? Trey's right. not finished. Luka Doncic, you could also throw in a big, tall point guard realm. Mm -hmm. You have, like, Scottie Pippen, who wasn't as – you know what I'm saying? Those are also versatile guys. Grand Hill, when he was in mm -hmm. his prime, you could mm -hmm. throw him in the Magic Johnson realm. Mm -hmm. Penny Hardaway. I, mm -hmm. Tracy McGrady. I'm, I'm, I'm ringing off names. You said 40 right. years. I just threw you, like, six. And none of them – and none of those none of those guys are considered close to what Magic was. None of those be, Because the impact of him winning with the squad he had to put him to right. another level. And of now, course, but with, with, that's, that's- So let, so 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 let's take it here then. Magic Johnson retired in 1991. That was in his prime. All right, he was only 32 years old. Mm -hmm. Right. I, now, now I know he came back and, <laughs> and, and, and I understand that. We, can't, we cannot discount the fact that he did come back. Absolutely, he came back. But that was 30 years I, I ago. I discounted right? though. I discounted, girl. I just wanted right. to say that. I discounted. Right. <laughs> I, I, I don't count him either, to be honest with you. That was, oh, that, right, that was right, a strong right, right. Yeah, it's, And I know we got to mention right, it. Right, right, right. I don't know we got to mention it. With that being said, right. Magic retired in, in 1991. That was 30 years ago, right? So in the next 20 years, am I thinking I'm never going to see anybody like Magic again? Well, that would be 50 years. That's like me saying, or that's like somebody walking around here saying, Bob Cousy, the best point guard in the history of the NBA. You telling me that in 60 years, you've never seen nobody as good as Bob Cousy? Never? That's unrealistic to think. I just don't think it's this guy, Steph so, Curry. That's all. So what So I'm, what are you saying? What are you basing that on? The fact that we've never seen him again, that's how they, rare they was, or that makes them better? Because well, if, you're, if you're basing it on not seeing him in 40 years, you could take Magic over Mike, because we see Mike every day walking around these neighborhoods. We do see Mike, but we don't see nobody doing it like Mike. But also with that being said, here's the case for Steph Curry. Steph Curry, first unanimous league MVP in NBA history in the 75 years. Ne never been a, nobody has been a unanimous league MVP, right? All-time bet. He's the greatest three-point shooter that the league has ever seen, right? Right, he's one, right. Nine, he's one of nine players in NBA history. James, Jordan, Jabbar, Chamberlain, Russell, Magic. Bird, Duncan, Curry, nine guys who have multiple league NBA, cha NBA championships and multiple league MVPs. Now, you can make the case for Steph Curry being an all-time great. Here's the downside to that. Steph Curry been in the league 13 years. In the 13 years he'd been in the league, he didn't make the All-NBA team until year five. That means that if his career ended today, that means for half your career, you won the league. Magic was that dude from the door. The minute I walk in the door, I'm that guy. And I was that guy throughout my entire career for a decade. So, so Unc, Unc, where's Magic right now in the league? If he was in the league right now, is he a top five, oh, top oh, four, Shaq, top Shaq, three sorry. player? Shaq, before he answered that question. So, I, great stance. You know, the draft process, you get drafted, it, it, it's, it's a fit. It's whatever the case may be. You could have the talent. Let's say, look at Kobe Bryant. He was drafted 13, didn't make all rookie team, didn't do none of that. Most of the, some of the players that had the keys from the door, Kobe is higher. That's why I don't agree, fully agree with that being killing from day one. Cause some people, Chill tone. you got to find have Kobe that, in your you got to find that ump. I got him at 11, right outside the top 10. I got him at 11. Don't say that Jay, too where, loud. Where, where do you, where do you go? <laughs> don't don't you say that Cole, too loud. Jay, well, don't Jay, say well, that too loud. Cole? Man, I, you know, I, I haven't really thought about where I got Kobe, but, 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 my, Kobe's not as high on my list as, as, as people, you know, 
really think he should be. Like, I'm not even sure he's on the top five of the all-time greatest Lakers, bro, if the people that put the jersey on. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. It's Man, not. That is not, that, that's not. that is not ridiculous so, to say that. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's it is. But uh, the thing is with you, you know, I won't argue, debate Kobe being 11 on your list because you've seen more. You've seen some of the players on your top 10. I know you've seen them visually. You've seen them play. I just have a problem with someone that's 16 years old saying, sorry, Larry Bird is top 10. 10 or you didn't see Larry Bird. So I you your list is, is based on probably based on what you've seen to the most part. I don't know how many active players is in your top five. You know what I'm saying? So if you got Julius Irving number six or seven, I could agree with that for you because you that's a different type of feeling yeah. of something you've seen. That's why I base my own. So that's why yeah. you could be 11 on your list and I'd be like, it's cool. But Dub, who's 21 or 22, saying his mm -hmm. list. Yeah, he players that retired out, and he wasn't even, and he wasn't even born yet. Mm -hmm. I got a problem bro, with that. Bro, I mean, you could have a problem with it, but then you're you're completely negating the fact it's yo, it's YouTube, bro. There's YouTube. There's okay. there's records that we could sit I, here and look. I, I also that. have a I also have That's a problem you have with to do. you saying it's YouTube and then people That's send all. it. I, I don't I don't see a 22 year old going back and forth and watching all the YouTube clips. That's I, would I don't watch it all. To the grave. I don't I don't I don't watch <laughs> like, it all. I will not. I, I would say I will not watch it all. But I know I've seen enough to come up with a fair assumption on how are you talking about Larry Bird. I could I've seen enough where I could see her like all right, Bird, you really tough. Like you really nice. This is, like this bro, is a like it's, plug, but it's not hard. The, the uh, me and Jay will have the same ed uh, same agent, and his time is precious. So JD, can you can yeah. can you please grab a hold of this and let's yeah, let's we, truck through these I last couple of segments. I got it. Real Thank quick you. though, let's just don't get it twisted. Larry Bird is a top ten player ever. Let's don't get that twisted. But carry mm. on. Is he over Kevin Durant? I'm taking Larry Bird over Kevin Durant right now today. Yeah. Mm. Yes. That's and, 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 and don't 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 I'm stop not. there, Jay, Jay Will. Don't stop there. In ten years, you're taking him too. Uh, yeah, Larry J. Mm. Bro, in, Larry, in, Larry, in Larry. ten years, you've taken them too. That's you guys. I I don't agree with it at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's okay that's, for you not to agree with it. That's, yeah, that's no, all, I know. That's, that's why. Beauty, right. Beauty of, right. of America, Bro. you know. But Larry Bro. Bird, Larry Bird will bust anybody that anybody's ass in his prime that y'all want to talk about. Anybody, including Kevin Durant. So it's going to be a back and forth seesaw. Anybody that's walking the face of the earth, he's busting their ass. Mm -hmm. And going to tell them It's a back and forth seesaw. It's a back and forth seesaw because it is. It is. You give me thirty, I give you thirty-four. Let's walk out the gym and shake each <laughs> other's hand. That's how it would be. Speaking <laughs> speaking of all-time players lists, we're going to we're going to do this. So all-time players who deserves to be over who all-time. I have a list of players that I'm going to read off. We're going to do similar to the last segment. I'm going to ask each person and you're going to tell me yes or no for the two players that I give you. So starting Let's with go. you, Shaq, mm -hmm. Scotty Pippen okay. in front of Kevin Durant. Yes or no? All time. Yes. Dub. Hell no, this no. is nasty. No, Hell no, no, Shaq. That's <laughs> disgusting, bro. Hold on. I'm sorry. I know top, Shaq, I've heard you do your top five small four before and Kevin and Scotty Pippen was never been hiding KD on that list until something happened today. I can't, I, I can't have it. a, I can't have a change of heart. Like I've been having this <laughs> Yo, change so of heart. It happened today, of course, list. of something you've been going through. Of course, no, yeah, go no. ahead. Scotty well, Pippen. Well, it's, well, okay, it well, Dale, it's nice for you to join the show, but it's a few shows that you miss where I, what do you mean? Is well, Michael Jordan me. your Lord and Savior on the basketball court? Yes, he is. Who helped him get a lot of those rings? A lot of All them. of them. Not, not a lot of them. All of them. Not a lot of them. All of them. I, I mean, Dale just has to answer the question. Oh, because <laughs> with your with your logic, then the Shaq, whole all time Shaq, list goes I know out the you window. So well, then Kawhi, for you to then, take to, for you to take this angle, bro, bro it's I love, ridiculous. I love this angle. For, I love this angle. This is to, the only time I'll take to, this angle when a guy wins six rings with the guy that you call the unanimous goat over my guy, LeBron James. You say it's MJ. Well, who helped MJ get all these rings? I just want to know. Was it just MJ? And then I think of Kevin Durant. You're a hell of a talent, but where is the ring without Steph? And then I look at Steph, hell of a talent, but where are your rings okay. without KD? I look at I look okay. at the whole grand so, scheme of things. Okay, so you're looking at the whole grand scheme thing, and you're putting, um, you're putting Scotty over 
<laughs> over KD because he I like got his career. Okay, okay. I like his career. I like Scotty's right, career a lot. Right, right. I, I love it. All right, all right, 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 let's keep bad. going. Let's keep going. Bad. I'm sorry. You're good. You're good. Scotty. I Pippen. have so much to say. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty Pippen in front of Kevin Durant, Dub. Never. Dell. No. Low. Hell no. Chill. <laughs> no. They will. Kevin Durant. I got Scotty in front of I got Scotty in front of Giannis right now too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, yo, come on, you, you just you might need to go get nah. your temperature too. I, I like... Yeah, no, nah, you talking a nah. lot. <laughs> I like what Scotty <laughs> brings to the table. Shaq, Shaq. I do. He's gonna win me six rings. I like that. Shaq, next next player, Allen Iverson in front of Kawhi Leonard. This is a nasty one, too. That's tough. I'm taking Kawhi. Dub. That's crazy. I'm taking Allen Iverson. Dell. Hey, yeah. Low. I'm I'm taking Kawhi, man. Chill. Allen. J. Will. I'm taking Allen Iverson. Steph Curry in front of Larry Bird. Shit. <laughs> 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 Jack, you really want to say something crazy? Um, um, Jack. Say it. No, three say it. No, say it. Three wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold on for a second. Shaq, why is this difficult for you? Jump off yeah, the why cliff. is it? Jump off the cliff. You're Say here. it. You're here. Yeah, you um, got two down. You might as well I look at I think, I think in, in the finals for Larry Burgess first year, he didn't even average the most on his team. <laughs> I, 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 it's foggy I, I, in the finals. It's foggy, but we give Larry a lot of credit. I'll give him, uh, I mean, I got to go based off of what you guys say. In, in, no, you, know, you don't. In YouTube, but I'm, I'm personally... Man, Steph's bad, man. Steph, I gotta go. Steph, Steph is bad, man. He's a bad, bad man. He is. Dub. He okay. is. Okay. <laughs> Larry Bird. Dell. This is career, right? Career. All time. When you're looking at an all-time list. Oh, uh, I'll put Steph. Steph. I'm going Steph. Oh man, y'all crazy, man. <laughs> 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 hey. hey. Me and Jay Will around. Me and Jay Will around the same age, so we 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 have a little bit of a different perspective I, on this. No, so. you guys got some backstory oh, in Dallas man, that we bro. haven't heard about. But <laughs> OG won't tell us a story, man, but never bro. mind. It's a story for man, another day. Hello, <laughs> Jay Will, OG, and Shaq. I don't know what happened. Me and Jay Will both want to hear the story. We'll wait till we're off cam. But all right, my bad, JD. My bad. Hello, Bird. Chill. Bird. Jay Will. Bird. Tim Duncan in front of Shaq. No, Shaq. Ooh. I'm taking Shaq every time. Ooh, Never believe that hype. Dub, don't you better stick to your guns here, Dub. I always said Tim Duncan. All right. So you're taking Tim? Yeah, I would take Tim. All right. Dell. I'm gonna go Shaq. Low. That was tough. I'm gonna go Shaq. This is a this is a good one, but I'm I'm gonna go Duncan. It's a good one though. Chill. Yeah. This, this might have been the best one. Timmy. Chill. Timmy. Timmy. J. Will. I got to take Big Diesel. Mm -hmm. Big Diesel changed the game. Big Diesel made 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 him change the rules, made him be able to play mm -hmm. his own, bro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Dill. Okay. Jack, last one. Shaq, Never last mind. one. Last yep, one. Yep, yep. LeBron in front of Jordan. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a LeBron guy <laughs> through and through. I'm going, I'm going Bron. I'm too. I am too. Dub. MJ. Dell. Just write the name. Hello. <laughs> Jordan. Chill. James. J. Will. LeBron. James. Now, J. Will, just because we got you here and a lot of people didn't see the last episode, I forget what episode it was. It might have been episode 47 in Player's Choice. It's in the 40s, I believe. But you brought up an interesting point about the defenses in the era of MJ versus what LeBron has to go through now. And I would just love a breakdown if you got it um, off the top of your head. Of course, man. Like, like say when, when, when MJ played like the, I don't know if you guys remember the rest would give you like a legal defense sign. That'd be one shot and the ball on the side. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. But what that meant was like, say MJ had the ball on the wing and his primary defender was guarding him. Right. And then, and then the weak side, the, the guy weak side in the weak side corner, 
whoever was guarding that guy had to stay on, on the opposite block. You know, if he came across the paint and stayed there without a hand, hand's length away from his guy, that's a legal defense. So MJ, you know what I'm saying, he just had to beat that first guy. And he, he wasn't thinking about that. That primary defender had no chance on not anybody really in the NBA that, that, that has a green light, right? Nobody can guard anybody one-on-one, -on -one, but especially Michael Jordan. So, so, so nowadays they, they change that rule where now, now say, I'm just going to use LeBron for an example because that's the argument LeBron MJ. If LeBron has the ball on the wing, that primary defender is right there. Now he has a secondary defender right at this ball side elbow, and he has another secondary defender at the ball side block. So he get and not worried about the primary defender again. He gets by that mm -hmm. guy and he makes the right pass. You know, the best coach I ever played for was Hubie Brown. He had three rules: be on time, know when to shoot, know when to pass. So I think LeBron receives a lot of bullshit at the end of games because he don't take the shot because he makes the right play. There's a guy wide open. Of course, he's going to make that play. Where MJ, mm -hmm. when he played, there was a legal defense shit. He got by his guy. He's scoring all the time because he only had one guy. I don't think a lot of people realize about the illegal defense back in the day. They just see Jordan scoring all these points, and rightfully so. A bad dude. Don't get me to, don't get it, don't get me wrong. But you know, LeBron's got it different. Now it's just it's just harder to score nowadays in the NBA as it was then. And I understand, you know, you say Jordan got beat down by the Pistons, this, that, and the other, and people say they'd do that to LeBron. No, they wouldn't, because LeBron's bigger than these dudes. They, they, they not found they might foul him hard, but they're not hitting him, knocking him down like they did uh, Michael Jordan. You think what about the handshake? You think what it's about harder? the handshake? You, you yeah, it's, it's a lot of, it is a lot of things. And I want low. I want low first. I want low. Dale, wait, wait. Let, let's let low get in on. Only, this. only thing I want to and, and what <laughs> a lot of things you said was uh was true. I mean, and it's not not like even debatable. But I guess the things I'll push back on, especially with LeBron, I will argue a lot of what you're saying is true in terms of especially his early stage of his career in Cleveland. And then especially right now, because that team, boy, that team got no space in. But when, when he spent a huge portion of his prime on teams that had proper floor spacing, there weren't that many people leaving the corner three-point shooter because, like you said, LeBron is intelligent enough to when he does beat the defender, if you dare to help that much over, he kicking into the three-point shooter. If when you watch him, there's a lot of times where it, there's a lot of, especially in today's game, there's a lot of sets that are being ran that are very similar to what we saw in the nineties because of the three point shooting. So yes, technically speaking, yeah, they can leave them, but they, they don't though. So when it, there's a lot of times where LeBron beats one defender and he has a wide open paint, or it's just one person in the paint. It's not as packed as it used once be. I, I agree though, back in the, to me, the two thousands is the most difficult because they removed the legal defense and then the floor spacing wasn't where it needed to be to really take advantage of trying to beat the zone. But in today's game, especially when LeBron went to Miami and they implemented the mat, like as much floor spacing as possible, and them in those, it's kind of hard for me to look at that like there was just everybody was just banging up and playing a zone defense when they when they weren't as much as they did in prior years. So I don't know. Maybe that's that's my big pushback. That a lot of teams they have the proper floor spacing well, for the help not to be sent like that. To, to add on your point, but back in 2000, like the early 2000s, they, they couldn't have the floor spacing because nowadays all five guys on the floor can probably shoot threes. Mm -hmm. you know? Back then they couldn't do that. So, mm -hmm. so you know, everybody's just packing the paint. But I, I would, the point I'm making though is I think that like between, in terms of LeBron's career, between like 2014 or even 2013 to like 2018, and, then, and that's not like a massive sample size in, in contrast to his career, but there was definitely a stretch in his career where he had it, I would argue, just as easy as MJ because there is no bigs in the paint. The floor spacing allows him to play defense almost similar to a, de a legal defensive um, roles. Never. And, and, and on top of that, if, if I beat Never. you, if I beat you and you come to help, then I'm, you're getting punished because I'm passing it to an open three-point shooter. I don't think you understand what Jay Will is talking about when he says you are on an island. That means that it's you and me over here on this right wing. Nobody can help you. And when I say nobody can help you, I mean that once I beat him, I get a wide open look. I don't mean that I get a look where I may have a little bit of a hand in my face. Nobody's close to me. So we looking at guys at least four or five feet away. So once he beats Joe, once Jordan beats Joe Dumas, he's at the bucket and Bill Lambeer and Charles Oakley on Patrick Ewan. None of these guys can get there quick enough. So I'm trying to imagine James one-on-one -on, -one on the wing against, I don't know, um, 
Jeff Green and Jeff Green trying to guard him 20 feet away from the basket with the spacing that they had back in the 80s. He would have been impossible, absolutely impossible. And, and we ain't even talking about Jordan with against elite defenders like Joe Dumas and, and Sidney Moncrief and Michael Cooper. Now, we're just talking about average guys that he had to deal with, with that kind of space. And I can't imagine what James would have had to deal with today in playing against Atlanta, playing against Oklahoma City. If he was in his prime, when he was playing against defenses like that, he would have been impossible. This 38,000 points would have easily been 40. I don't think it would have been uh-huh. close. Unk and Jay Will, who's the better talent like on the court? Like as just a basketball player, no accomplishments, none of that. Is it Jordan or is it LeBron James? Good question. Go ahead, Jay. Shaq, why do you why do you do this, Shaq? You just like does it fill your head up like, like... <laughs> Oh, oh I'm loving Jay Will Town right now. Like I'm loving Jay Will right, because, right now. Because they both said it's LeBron Jay Will already. Town. They both said LeBron. <laughs> They both said LeBron already. Now you're going to go who's a better talent, who's based on rebound and assist. You know they're going, Mike. Like, is it for your own, like, to, like, oh, yeah, they agree with me? They could say all that stuff, and I still will sit here to this day and say I think Mike is the GOAT, undeniably. That's fair. Like, that's that's so, fair. So why you want to trying to change somebody's mind? Nobody I mean, on this panel I mean, yeah, we, we have another show tomorrow, and I'm just getting all the ammo. And I'm just saying, yo, you remember what Chill said? You remember what Jay Will said? But now, I'm going to say, my Del, and, but they're have, here now, and I don't agree with Del, them. So you, you think re- I'm going to agree with you alone? You have to remember who you're talking to, the king of context right. spending, who literally yeah. just said Scotty Pippen in front of Kevin Durant, and it's the first time he's ever said it. Right. I think Scotty would agree with me. Can I, of can course I say he would. Of course he would. Can I, would absolutely would. I say something no about the that being said, Scotty also What does that say about me? But Scott is he's, he's on his own MJ rant right now. Yeah. Let's leave can, him. Can, can I say he... <laughs> something? Can I say something about the rules real quick? Because basically, what you guys are saying is that they weren't sending double teams, and that's not true. When in that, defense, it's not that they weren't not, sending double teams. Because no, because no, 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 you guys are talking. Said, you guys are talking about one on one. The defender, it was you either had to choose to send a double team or stay on your man. That's what was happening. They would send a lot of double teams, especially at the time when Dennis Rodman on there. They would definitely leave Dennis Rodman open just because of that. This whole island that you guys are talking about, I get it, I understand you, where there is a lot of one-on-one opportunities more, but that doesn't mean that they was just, it was like that every single time. They definitely were sending double teams at MJ okay. consistently. You're right, you're right. But look, check this out though. You say you, you just, I'm glad you said that because they send a double teams off Dennis Robin from the weak side corner, right? You know mm-hmm. how far of a run that is. <laughs> I, I get, well, I get exactly talk, what you're talking about. Let me talk. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know how far of a run that is. Yeah, that's a far run. There ain't nobody getting there, right? But anyway, mm-hmm. okay. As soon as they leave Dennis Robin to come double, they got to turn their back to Dennis Robin, right? What did Dennis Robin do? Follow him mm-hmm. right to the middle of the paint, bro. Listen, we went, over, we went over this. We uh, now, now they double. Go back, you're the Absolutely. YouTube, you go Absolutely. Will, but Jay will, but Jay will, Jay will. <laughs> you guys are nasty. Yo, you and shout, really out, shout out to 550 people that's tuning in across Twitch and YouTube right now. Yeah. And shout out War Machine. I'm, go on, Dub. I was going to say, thank you uh, for pointing that out because I want to also mention, like, thank you guys for showing up. We see you guys. We can't get to you guys as often as we usually do in typical episodes because for obvious reasons. Go ahead. Continue, Dub. But Jay will, that. That wasn't happening every single time. There was times where the double teams was working. Yeah, the, the situation you're talking about, that didn't happen every single time. And what Lowe was talking about, the spacing in today's NBA, the spacing in today's NBA, there's a ton of one-on-one opportunities that's going on for LeBron James. So it's kind of like it's it's one in the same. They're going it's basically they're doing the same exact thing, honestly. If really so Dub, can ask the question. Dub, if that wasn't happening. Well, hold on, Dale. So if Dub, if that yeah, wasn't happening, you got it. If that wasn't happening every single time, then explain the 35 a game, 37 a game, 32 a game. But MJ, because MJ's that great of a score. That's just, Nobody, that's just that greatness. Great that's just greatness. Yeah. We know this. But let me ask you guys a question. No, All he's not, Shaq, 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 Okay, I'm Shaq, sorry. Could, I'm sorry. Shaq. Talk to Jay Will Shaq, and chill, you, not me. No, no, no. You two. All okay. three of y'all, because it's like a three-headed okay. monster. Like, on my, on my okay. iPad, it's like a triangle. It goes like this. So, look, answer to this question for me. Why do y'all say – you just said it, Shaq, so you can answer first. Why do you say LeBron needs a perfect group of guys around him? And who are those group of guys? I mean, I feel like anybody that goes to the championship needs a perfect that's group. That's not of what guys. I'm asking you. Just answer the question. But that's I don't what, know that's what, what you feel like. Why do he what what are the sets of group of guys that he needs? 
I mean, for the defense that's played this, like in this era, you need shooters, you say, shooters. correct? Thank exactly. you. LeBron perfect group is he all needs shooters around him. Why does he need shooters around him to create what? The words start with an S. Space. I feel like it's space, it start man. with an S, Shaq. Not your name. Space. Space. Okay. So when he has all these shooters and he's successfully on his go time with Miami going to the finals, he has shooters. He has room to operate. This was everyone said. This is not my word. Everyone said LeBron had all the room to operate one to one because he had what around him? The S space. word, not the space. But, the but they'll stop acting like he didn't Don't take like bad Dale teams nothing. to the finals. <laughs> like he took he took bad teams Don't to the finals. Don't butt nothing. I understand that take about bro, about Mike and and I know the that's my error too. I know the the three seconds away, you got a point and do all that because our pro city ran the exact same way. And it's so difficult to do. But don't say it like LeBron, when he truly he dribbled the ball, help is coming right away. We we witnessed LeBron one dribble go dunk on people one-on-one -on -one all the time. We witnessed that. So And he has spacing on everything he played on except this one right now when he's – because who's the shooters he got around him? Every successful LeBron team, he has buttload of shooters around him. What, what about, what about the – what about go the ahead, successful Jack. KD teams? How many oh, shooters are around here? Oh, my God. Hey, hey, you know what? <laughs> hey, hey, you know, feel like you're hey, you know it's so crazy? Down, and it's fine. But you know, the triangle right, the is question. on time constraints. So, JD, take it over, please. <laughs> Hold on really quick. Go ahead, Lo, and then we'll move on. Go ahead, No, Lo. no, you know it's so crazy? That's that. Ironically, I was going to show a screenshot of, like, what I'm talking about in terms of, like, the floor spacing. Because, yeah, like, I, I understand what they're saying, especially in the early 2000s, but it, was, it just wasn't – it just wasn't the proper – they, they allow zone and then not enough teams had adapted at that time for floor space and really the um what's that what's the team called the suns were really the first team that went small tried to space out a little bit more to give the proper floor spacing but i'm telling y'all right now i am telling y'all right now if you go back and you go look at some of those um lebron teams and i'm looking at a, at, a, at multiple plays where katie was on the warriors and he's isoing players on the wing and you would have thought it's the 90s it's mm -hmm. that's how much space it is. And I'm not exaggerating. You would have literally thought it was the 90s Whoa. with the amount of floor spacing. Hey, you right. Low, because nobody nowadays because they're going to hit you in the head, bro, from three. Everybody out there. That's why, the, you know, I, yeah. I tell people nowadays, if you can't shoot the three, you're not going to be able to be successful in the NBA unless you're like right. Stephen Adams or Rudy Gobert. That right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be able to shoot the long ball today. No, but, right, but that, I can, but I can, I can show you, but I, can, but I can show you clips of Giannis also getting mad space. I understand what y'all saying; it makes you more deadly. But, they, but even, everyone gonna have the space. What I'm saying is because they have shooters around them. And but that's, that's, that, what but, I'm that's but that's my point as well. Is like, I think the argument of floor spacing and zone defense and how difficult it was that pertains to the 2000s up until like 2012. But after that point. Bro, mm -hmm. it, it, it almost became a, a necessity for you to have as much floor spacing as possible so teams can't zone up like the Spurs were doing, like the um like the Mavericks did against LeBron in 2011. Like like mm -hmm. that, like zones, they 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 okay, they okay, now, how, even, but they how much mix it up. How much would M and I have a second question, but I want to know Jay Will Chill I want to know everybody's answer. How much would MJ average today on a good team to where he's going to the finals? Well, I think, to, doing, I think that he'd be doing the same thing that he was doing back then because I'm considering the defense and I'm considering how much leeway they have. So um, we're talking about a guy who had to beef up and get stronger, who was already averaging 34, 35 a so game. How many, so how many ships is he winning? It depends on the crew that he's on. But if he's on, a, like you just said, if he's on, a, he's, he's on a great team, I think he wins at least three, at minimum three. No doubt okay. about that. Okay, and that's fair. D Dale will say five or six. I can't I go six. I can't go six. I can't, yeah. I can't go six. Well, six the reason why I can't go six, the, the reason why I can't go six is because of what free agency has done to the NBA. Yeah. We don't have teams exactly. sticking together like they did back then where you right. had, you know, building, Scotty, building, building Scotty, chemistry. You know, Scotty chemistry, and Magic, right. Scotty and Mike played eight years together. They were together for nine years. You know what I mean? So it's not like it's a situation where these guys play together for two, three years and then they break up. So I think that Jordan would have won at, at minimum three. Okay. JD, it's on you. And Lo, I, Lo, I also... JD, you ready? Yeah, I'm good. All right, Lo, I I um, it's I challenged you to a debate in <laughs> in Vegas, and you didn't you didn't reply. And I'm coming with Jay Will and Chill Town. I don't know who you're pulling up with, but I I put I put a lump sum of cash up, and winner takes all. And I just got no response from you. And now that you're here live, 
I know you've seen the title. You, you know, it's you know so crazy. I saw, I, I, no, I saw the video, and then you said, like, Rusty Buck, and I was like, bro, how did he, how did me and him get teamed up? Like, man, you my, G, no. my, you my GM, too. Like, You're yeah, right. you picking my team, <laughs> and you picking your team. That's crazy. Lowe's got just know I'm coming with, just, just know who I'm coming with. Yeah, the just know crazy, who I'm coming with. Jay, the, crazy, the crazy part about it is, bro, I, I, we agree on majority of things we talk about. We agree. They'll they'll be mad at me. You know what's so crazy mad? about Dell? You know what's so crazy about Dell? Dell you know what mad is? Dale, mad no, is a sensitive about, about thing. Yeah, yeah, mad? Not, not mad. mad? Dell will, will literally sit here and agree with me. <laughs> It'll agree with me. You that know, call, you know what's that, crazy? Hey, hey, hey Dell, hey, Del, that call Malone take, I want to push this dude into traffic. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. real. So you know one thing, Lo, they've done it to you. They, it, it hasn't happened to me yet. It's like uh they 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 create this little narrative and you believe it because you I'm, I'm I never know you believe it until right now. Whatever you're about to say is not something I created. It's something you quote unquote unquote. Oh, Zach, Zach, I see you Zach, Zach, I'm good Zach, Zach started saying I'm something. Dell and, Del and his biggest biggest problem or whatever, and in my mind I'm like. Who? <laughs> and then your name was came up. So then I said, oh, Lo, yeah, Lo has his computer. He does the snap stuff. That's his go-to. And then Shaq used that, which is fine. Everyone does it. Shaq used that and magnified. And now we're here. And now you're about to soliloquy. <laughs> no, no, I just I just want to be clear. We go, it's kind of hard to debate. It's kind of hard to debate when we agree, though. We, that's all I'm saying. No, 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 you guys, no, yeah, you guys, you bring Dale, I'll bring Jay Will and Chilltown, and we'll go to Vegas after we beat you guys. We'll go to Dallas and buy Shaq, the other Shaq. Players' choice versus players' choice. Now I'm getting dissed by my close friend. That's crazy. That's That's crazy. Let's let's, keep going, JD. Let's grade these rings. You're going to give these rings an A through an F. Dell, I do not want B minuses and (laughs) B pluses. Y'all got me. I want A, B, C, D, or F. (laughs) No, is Danny, before you go, is this no. a produced show by Shaq? No, this of is a nasty. Course. Oh, okay, of okay, course. Right. Couldn't you tell? Of course. Right. All right. This is nasty. All right. We're going to do same order, Shaq, Dub. And Jay, we'll, we'll let you get out of here after this one. Yep. All right. Grade these rings starting with the Lakers three-peat, 2000 to 2003. Shaq. It was a B plus. I just said, don't give me pluses and minuses. Fine. Dub. A. Dell. A. Low. A. Chill. A. J. Will. A. Pistons. Wait, are we basing this off of how easy no, it was? No, 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 no. Stop. 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 No, Time restraint. No, Time restraint. You called it already. You ready to be none. No, no, no. It's a B plus to me. I mean, it was so easy for them. I mean, they have two no, of the best players. No, they, no, made, no. they made it look easy. What, what were what they happened. supposed to do? Jack, no, Everybody no, makes it look easy for you, Dub. Malone, Jordan, the whole. All right, let's go. Oh, my God. Pistons over LA Lakers. 4-1 in 2004. That, that's an A-plus right there. Duck. B. Dell. A. Low. That's an A. Jill. A. J. Will. It's an A, man. He over Mavericks, 4-2 in 06. Jack. Listen, say what, say what y'all feel, bro. Yeah, don't, 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 don't be scared. Don't be scared. Yo, Shaq, it's you. Shaq, it's you. Know, it's, uh, D Wade's one of my favorite players of all time, and so is Jay Will. That's an A plus for me. What y'all want me to say? Dub. A plus plus. Yeah. Nah, you know you're doing too much. A B. Well, Dub's oh, a Miami I'm fan. A, I'm a Heat fan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they will. Okay, that's right. They will. That's right. That's right. They will. Thank you for 2006, bro. That is right. I'm, 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 <laughs> Jay will. I'm still a little sad about that because the Mavs should have two. Uh, low. The Mavs, hey. Yeah, they should have two, but they only got one. Goddamn. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a biased Mavs fan. That's the only reason. Low. Who'd you? What'd you say, Low? A. Chill. A. Jay will. It's an A, man. Don't- Jay will, real quick. Did y'all did y'all believe that y'all could win that? Of course, of course they did. What? Shaq. I'm, no, on, I know. Bro. I'm hey, talking about. Hey, Shaq, no bro, way. Like, okay, low, low. No, I mean, I mean, I mean. Oh, you're being down, right now, they were down two zero, right? Being down two zero. I mean, wow. exactly. You guys were and down two zero, right? 
We were down, yeah, down were 10 in the fourth. Down, down 10 down in the like fourth. Down eight in the fourth quarter in game four. Jay Will hit back-to-back trips. Come on, stop playing with them. They called, a, they called a timeout at a free throw, and that was their last timeout. Avery Johnson wanted a timeout after the second free throw so they could advance the ball. When Josh Howard threw the timeout sign up right in front of Joey Crawford. He had to blow the whistle, called timeout in between foul shots. Now they can't advance the ball. They had to take up like mm. a like a wild 30-footer. Wow, no, that's not that's not that crazy to say. Like, yo, the the odds were stacked against us. Like, of course we believed yeah, was, we were gonna win, but the narrative being down that wasn't a bad question. But they still, yeah, I mean, but I'm 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 not about to get on a public Jay platform Will. and say I don't I didn't think I was gonna win. That's crazy. I'm not about to do that. No, Jay but Will. then I wanted him to elaborate. That's why I asked him. Like, oh, okay. huh. that, 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 I wasn't trying to be nasty. Shaq. Can I ask you? Oh, okay, my bad. Celtics over Lakers four two in two thousand eight. That's mm. an A minus. That's an A minus. Dub. A. Del. B. Low. B. Chill. A. J. Will. A. Hey. I, I don't understand. Like, like <laughs> every championship ring should be an A, bro. No, I don't understand. <laughs> every one. No, they but you guys don't know. You're trying it's not to make a system to me either. It's not making sense to me. I'm going to tell you why. It, no. It'll make sense to you. Soon, in I didn't few, see the doc, but few, it's yeah, it's I already coming. ice coming in, in, a, it's, in a few, it's, in a few, it's, it's gonna it'll be all here click where it you once. guys where, where he wants uh-huh. to click bait and it's uh-huh. upcoming, so don't uh-huh. right now it's just uh-huh. a formality. It's wow. keep going, Jay. <laughs> yeah, it's eight. Uh, Lakers, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Lake, did I already do this one? Oh no, Celtics over Lakers, Lakers <clears throat> over Celtics 4 3 in 2010. That's it. I mean, that got to be an A. A plus, damn near. Dub. A. A. Low. A. Chill. A. J. Will. A all the way. A. Dallas over Miami, 4-2, 2011. Come on, that's a super A plus. Yeah, that's a super. Yeah, I got my man. That's A plus. Dub. B. I'm going to kick you plus. off the show, Del. <laughs> no, you just hey, talk. Hey, hey, hey. Chill. Hey. J- hey. J. Will. Hey. hey. Miami over San Antonio, 4-3, 2013. That's, a, that's another one of them A-pluses right there. That's another hey, one facts, of them A-pluses. Facts. Great series. Del. Hey. Mm-hmm. Del. Hey. Low. Hey. Chill. Hey. J. Will. Hey. <laughs> Warriors over Cavs 4 0 2018. Here you go. Here you go. I'm telling you, that's here a C minus right there. That's damn near a D plus, but I mean, I see they, they actually had to go out there and get it done. That's a C minus right there. That's a that's a legit C minus. Dub. Dub. <laughs> um Say it with your chest, Dub. Stop fronting. Yeah, I'm thinking. Thanks. I'm thinking. No, you know you said 2018, right? Letters, yes, Dub. sir. I say B. Dale, I was A. Love. Come on, Dale. And it's not because it's because Chris Paul got hurt. That's the main reason for me. Low. Because I would have lost. What'd you say, Low? A. Chill. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, compared a. to other championship rings, y'all do not think that is an A ring. That's, yes, what, that's what this whole Hold thing on. is. Hold on. <clears throat> Hold on. You said A, chill? Yes, sir. A. J. Will. A. Raptors, mm. Raptors over Warriors 4-2 in 2019, Shaq. It's, I mean, if, like J. Will said, every championship is an A. But when you look at the nah. context of how you got the ring, like even with this, it was a lot of injuries. B plus, like you did what you were supposed to do. But if everybody was that fully healthy, Kawhi, you're not winning that ring. So why are we acting like Kawhi, you're winning that ring? So I'm not giving you an A. That's just how I feel. That's just, that just is what it is. It's a B plus. <laughs> Dub. It's a B, B plus. plus. Oh, e. A ring is a ring. It doesn't matter. That's not true. That's low, not true. Low. Yeah. When you look at it, yeah. Uh, a. Chill. A. J. Will. Hey, bro. Capital. <laughs> J-, J. Will. J. Will. So real now, quick. Listen, Shaq, you... if, if Josh Howard don't call the timeout, they get advanced the ball and we lose that game maybe, right? 1,000%. One, one, one exactly. So, J. Will, you feel the same way about how you guys won your championship compared to how others won their championships. And that's all that I'm saying. Of course, no, 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 every I, NBA I, I, championship. I, I, is... No, I, no, I'm just controlling. We, 
our 15 guys, we did, we started in fucking October all the way to June. We ain't worried about nothing what y'all doing over there. So we and, went and through our to- too. We had all our ups and downs too, but we still standing uh, there. I bet well, you, actually, uh, I bet uh, you, if you go back and uh, look, we probably had some guys on the injured list in the finals that played. And, that, and that's and that's fair. That's why you feel like you're. Th- then you should personally feel like your ring is worth Shaq, more than. Shaq, some other also, stuff. stay with your also, chest. That you're also, mad at Kevin Durant. Yeah, just yeah. say also, that. That should have been the only. Jay Will was very nasty. Jay Will really nasty. quick. Jay Will really quick. Um, when David Stern got up to the podium, did he say? Congratulations, 2006. Of course, Early okay. NBA this is the political. Co- congratulations. Say that? This is the political I'm, answer. I'm pretty sure he said. I'm pretty sure okay, he said congratulations. The, okay, okay, NBA okay, champ. That's fine. I'm pretty that's sure that's he fine, said that. But on, that's fine. That's, but on the debate so nasty. show, when you're debating nuances, that doesn't fly here. Just like with everything else, with Carl Malone, at the end of the day, he didn't win. So Lowe's right. He's not a winner. Correct. With no Correct. matter what you say, those guys won, mm-hmm. won championships. He's still not a winner. So if we're here on in this arena right now debating, and I say, hmm, let's rank these championships. All of them are not getting A's. And that's all that I'm saying. If you had to go through one through 20, there are some that are going to be top five, and there's some that you are unanimous, unanimously putting at the bottom. And mm-hmm. they should not get A's. And that's the only place that I'm coming from. I'm not trying to be nasty, but I'm nasty sometimes. <laughs> and this ah, is you're, the- you're not lying. I don't, I don't think you guys, I don't think people should comp- could comp- put, like, say, a guy was a great player or a successful player because he just won a championship or he didn't win a championship. Because because I get in this argument all the time. People say, oh, yeah, you won a championship. You're better than him. That's bullshit. I'm nowhere I I, near. I'm yeah. nowhere near the player John Stockton was, bro. Not even close, mm-hmm. bro. Mm-hmm. So that guy was leaps and bounds better basketball player than me, and he never won a championship. So, And, and by the way, this is this, this is a dude who played 10 years in the NBA saying this. This isn't a dude who, play, right. who had a cup of coffee in the NBA. This is a dude that's right. talking right. to us who played 10 years in the NBA saying, I'm not right. close right. to this dude. Yeah. So right. what are we no, talking about here? <laughs> we're, we're talking about we're on an NBA fucking debate. What, what, what do you mean? What are we talking about? Of course, I know it's Jay Will sitting right there. Are you kidding me? I do what I, yeah, we got the same. I know Jay Will and what's going on right now. But Unc, you're not about to sit here and tell me you're comparing this championship to this championship. It's just not, okay. just not believing Stop it. I'm just not believing it. I don't care. I don't care the, I'm not believing it. I'm not Let's believing it. We can do whatever. What I'm not believing it. We can do whatever. I'm not believing it. Instead of going through all these hoops and this, let's debate. Okay, okay, okay. KD. You're right. You're right. Just you're right. Because that. chill hey, and hey, oh, 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 innocent bystanders. Oh, oh, right. That's you, what you, I'm, you, I'm, you're I'm right. not. Right. I, it's exactly. not like I went. Exactly. Hey, Dell. Hey, Dell. I'm so glad you mentioned that because it's not like I walked into a bar fight and I didn't know what I was getting into. Right. And now exactly. I know what okay. this is about. Right. Okay. Exactly. Okay. There's a problem yeah. Yeah. with Kevin Durant winning two championships. Okay. Every other championship up. Okay. So now we're not going to trade this little hoop line of 10 championships just to get to one. So you you guys can say, yeah, that KD joint wasn't that tough. He wanted to okay. guys to say, but it, when it, y'all it, come it. here with the dribble of A's and A's, he's mad at himself. He's cursing. He's feeling back against the wall because he didn't get the TikTok he thought he was getting. And now we're here. So now it's back to you, Shaq. So, no whoa, 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 whoa. I can't, yeah, I can't, yeah, I can't yeah, TikTok fire. the TikTok. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me make sure I'm understanding. Hey, Dale, th- hey, Dale did, did Shaq start a fight and he wanted us to jump in and we didn't jump in? Now he's mad at us? Is that what I'm about? Hey, now. Hey, exactly. When I'm walking he in the park, I hold my hand and oh, just stop punching me. Oh, except you didn't okay. do that, and now he mad at us. Now he's mad at you. Okay. That's about him and Jay Will agent. Hey, hey, Dell, hey, Dell, hey, Dell, Dell, Dell. Here's one that's even worse. You know what he wanted to do? Ironically, he's mad at KD for making a super team and joining up. He wanted y'all to join up and make that super team exactly. argument. That's exactly. what he wanted. Super, exactly. Yeah. Super team argument. But you guys That's sniffed it out. So, okay, yeah, it is what it is. But yeah, you know crazy. what? Chill and Jay Will. I look back at you guys at the bar, and y'all just didn't <laughs> y'all didn't catch on. When I heard the I, all championships are A's, then no, I knew it was No, they definitely over. caught on. They're like, he's on his own. Right. All right, but, but Dale, quick question before Jay Will gets out of here. <laughs> okay. You do think Kevin Durant's better than LeBron James, right? All time. I do. I think he's a better okay. basketball player. Yes, I do. That's where this is coming from. That's where this is coming from, Jay Will. That's where I tried to set him up, but I probably should have just did that instead of just trying to be all fancy. He thinks that Kevin Durant is better than LeBron James all time, and and that's what I'll leave it at. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. We just leave it at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. 
Like, mm-hmm. we'll be I, might, that too. I might need this low oxygen a little bit later. I'm not even going to waste that oxygen on that low oxygen. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> You're but right. with that being I'm, said, though, with that being said, Kevin Durant is a bad dude, bro. Don't yeah, he is. And, man, you could talk about that because you get there. Shaq feels because I say that I'm just – I'm sitting on Braun or not. No, I know who LeBron is. As a basketball player, I think I would, I, me personally, Delroy James, yours truly, I'm going with KD. I've right. been telling Shaq this KD. for years. This isn't new. Like, five, I'm telling him, I'm going, I'm going with Slim. And that's right. just that's, me. Yeah, but I, even if you go with Slim, that doesn't mean he's better than, than Buddy. To me, he is. Right. Just like I could say that too, just because you go with right. Braun and I. Don't, I don't, right, right. Right. I mean, right. we can argue about who's better all day, right? I mean, it's just yeah. like. Right? <laughs> Ex- Ex- yeah. Yo, that's why Shaq, we have a debate show about music. He doesn't want to debate me with Nas or Sam and M. I, and- I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to Chill Town and J Wolf for trying to take them into that bar. Dale, I'll see you at that bar tomorrow. Hey. Well, listen, okay. <laughs> if. if, if, if no, nah, I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. I appreciate y'all having me. Back. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have the next show about about the championships. And, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready. To come. No, we yeah, we still gotta finish that one for sure. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Sure. Talk to we you, look brother. forward to round three, brother. Right, you too, but listen, yeah. when we get off here, I want all y'all to YouTube Larry Joe Bird and just take a look, bro. Just take a look. That's all. One of my one of my good friends tell me to look at Larry. His name is Dirk. He tell me to look at Larry Bird clips all the time, and I tell him the same thing. No. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Nah, that's all, crazy. All, that, all that means is you ain't trying to expand your game, bro. That's all that no, means, bro. No, it don't. Nah, I don't, <laughs> want, to, I don't want to expand my vision. It's about player, vision. If you haven't watched Larry Joe Bird, the greatest Caucasian player ever, to, to oh, I seen some court. clips. I saw some clips of him on the last dance. Clips don't justify no. Dell. Clips don't justify him, Dell. He was he wasn't nice, Dell. So, so what y'all want nice. me to watch on YouTube, Unc? You don't you listen to me what I'm telling you, Dell. You don't send have me to the watch best anything. Link. After we get off the show, send me the best guys, live drawing I'm gonna watch. You guys are not gonna listen, get him out of the bag, I promise you. We've tried. I, I, all I'm gonna say I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch it. All I'm gonna say to you, Dell, is Larry Bird was he wasn't nice. He was super nice. That's all I'm gonna say about him. All right, Jay Will. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all. All right, yes, sir. Up, Jay, Will, Jay Will, thanks for tapping in. Chill. Yeah. Right. Chill, thanks for tapping in. Low, yes, thanks sir. for tapping in, man. Yes, sir. Oh, thanks for having me, out brother. Here. We are thanks here. for having me. Hey, Shaq, thanks for having me. Hey, shout out to shout out to Sports Behavior. Yes, sir. Shout out to shout out to Flu and Chill. Come check us out on YouTube. Come yes, check sir. us out That's on Twitter. Fact. Yeah. That's so, a fact. Make sure absolutely, brother. Make sure you like, comment, all subscribe. Out, Shaq? Yeah, we're about hold to on. go out. I must say, we all out. Not yet. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before JD, before. Before you go out, Chill, I do want to personally, you know, thank you for coming on. Because every time I've reached out to you, you've always hit me back. And you've always been like, yeah, I'm down for whatever. Lo, you already know what's popping. You know, I don't mess with Thanos out here. Dub may have a death wish, but I don't. And <laughs> <laughs> so, look, Shaq, I, I, mean, I was one of the first guys. I mean, I, I don't I don't really I didn't really know a lot about this podcast thing, but I'm I'm glad I came on. This is definitely awesome. No question about it. And real quick before we go, Shaq. I mean, uh, Jay Will was talking about in Dallas. So we in Dallas. It's 2006. It's the NBA final. Shaq is my man. We're staying at the Crescent. It's the night before game one. Shaq comes and bangs on my door. Boom, 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 boom. Comes and bangs on my door. Yo, let's go shoot some free throws. All right, let's go shoot some free throws. We jump in the car. We go down to SMU, all right, Southern Methodist University. It's in Dallas. We go downtown. We're in the gym. I'm in the gym. I'm on one end of the, on one end of the floor with Shaq. Spo and Dwayne Wade on the other end of the floor. Nobody else is in the gym with us. Shaq's got to shoot free throws. We're talking 100 free throws in increments of 10. All right? Shaq is at the free throw line. And remember now, the routine is two dribbles, pause, shot. Shaq is going 7 for 10, 9 for 10, 8 for 10. It's draws every time, every Mm -hmm. time. In my head, I'm thinking to myself, you dudes don't have a chance tomorrow night. Because if this dude is shooting free throws, you don't have a chance. We're going to destroy you guys. Shaq, when I tell you that that next night, he went one for nine from the free throw line. <laughs> he, gets to the, he gets to the free throw line. It's one dribble shot. It's three dribbles shot. It's like when you see, when you, it's like going over a dance routine for two weeks. And then we get to the show and you're just doing whatever you want. I'm in the arena. I'm looking at this going, what the hell is this? We didn't go over none of this. We get back to the hotel, right? And... Uncle Jerome and I are standing outside, and Shaq's room is right over the uh, right over the top of, of the foyer. He could see us. He calls up uh, he calls Uncle Jerome, and I'm standing right there. Uncle Jerome goes, "Yo, phone." And who's calling me on your phone? I get the phone. It's Shaq. Shaq says to me, 
all them damn free throws for nothing. I, if it was my when I checked, if it was my phone, I swear to God, I would have smashed it in a million pieces right then and there. I couldn't <laughs> handle it. I, it was making me nuts. I couldn't handle it. And then it, and then it resonated with me right then and there. It was a head thing. It had nothing to do with routine right, or right. anything like that. It was in his head. <laughs> so I figured I had to share that with you guys. Yo, yes, sir. Thank you so much for that story. That's a absolutely, gem. brother. That's so, a good. Yo, and chill. When's you guys' um next um sports behaviors next um episode? Sports, sports behavior. We do that on Tuesdays and Fridays. We do that on Tuesday and Fridays. Uh, on Twitch live at eight p.m., nine p.m. Central, eight nine p.m. Eastern, eight p.m. Central. And my my man, fluent and chill. We do that. Uh, we tape on uh. Wednesdays and we tape on Fridays at uh on YouTube. It's a, it's on uh Chill Town Hoops. So come check us out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm, putting, I'm putting I'm putting you and OG the beast on the time clock for when y'all finna come up here. Chill, can you answer me a question? Does Fluent hate me? I don't oh think he would tell God. me a person. Does Fluent hate me? <laughs> y'all, gotta, y'all, gotta, y'all got a podcast together. Yeah, he, I I'm know. sure he doesn't. I think, I think he I think he hates no, me. No, he doesn't. Uh, of course, <laughs> low, of low, course. back to you, Low. Yeah, what's good, Low? I was going to say, of course, oh, good. the Weirding Peer-to-Peer Podcast, Foot on the Line. Thanks uh, for having me, guys. I appreciate y'all, though. Thanks for having me, my sure, man. I appreciate right. it. So, I, 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 I thought we were going to do longer than this, but because I, I really want to have that Karl Malone talk, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't got nothing but time. I don't have nothing but space and opportunity. That's up to oh, chill. Oh, wait, wait, wait hold on. Hold on, time out. What happened to... Oh, and the next show we're doing the draft. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, it's, hey, it's, it's Chill to... Town and Low want to talk about Carl Malone. You're gonna have to talk to Shaq about that though. He was gonna try and line me up, but I'm lining him up before he can has a chance. No, we're <clears> the <throat> show tomorrow. Right now we got Chill Town, who is very hard to get into contact I... with, being a top TikToker. Oh, I thought he was leaving. Low, I thought he was it? out. I thought he was leaving. I mean, Low wants some smoke. Clearly, what can I do? Y'all want to debate smoke? it? Debate it real quick. And, and, and Chill Town looks like he obliges. So what? Yeah. It, <laughs> the only 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 thing I, again, I just have to ask. But there's no there's no way we have two players who are that great all time on the same team with one another. And y'all, we're about to sit here and justify the how how poorly they were in terms of just wins and losses. Furthermore, Karl Malone's production, especially in terms of his accuracy, dropped in the playoffs noticeably. Not like one or two percentage. He dropped noticeably. <laughs> When you get in the playoffs, let me ask you a question. When you get in the playoffs, what happens to the competition? It increases. And which would which would normally do what with your production? It was it would drop. Yeah, because you're going against better players, right? So that logic is dead. So let's dead that. It's not it's not dead because everybody's production doesn't drop to the tune of Karma Malone. It doesn't. Everybody's pre- all all players that we're putting in the same conversation. Yeah, just players who were top twenty to top thirty players of all time, their production doesn't drop to the level of Karma Malone. That's no, let me ask you a question doesn't. though. What did Malone average in the playoffs? Like his career numbers? I don't. I honestly don't know. Never seen him in my life. I just want to ask you. I think that it's really is more so the accuracy. He was missing way more shots. And, and now this, this, okay, but but this is the thing with that. To be honest, like at the end of the day, people always say, "Yo, LeBron had a great playoff run against the Bulls." But if you just look at numbers, pure just accuracy. He shot the worst he's ever shot, but they only look at his points at the end of the day, rebounds and dimes. So, of course, his, if his accuracy go down, but his numbers is still 27 and 12. What the hell? You know, I, I get the accuracy, but what are we talking about if he's producing because if you're, the same if you're, numbers? Well, two, well, two things. I, I'm, I'm watching Carmelo and John Stockton. A, no, me too. They're, no, they're, no, no. They're, no, no, I'm they just, know I'm how just much letting, I love just, them. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it just let it be known. Like, it's not like I'm just solely going off of the numbers. Even when I'm watching them play, A, a lot of things they're getting off, obviously, with the pick and roll, when you go up against a team that's actually, like, strategizing against you, that's mm-hmm. an offensive set that you can you can kind of – you can easily go for, and it's easy to stop. And there's not that much – it's not as much, or at least stopping the possession that you need to stop them in. Those before, you go any further with, before you go any further with stopping them in, in that, and what's okay. primarily the offense today in the NBA? Pick and roll. <laughs> and and how, how, are guys, how are guys doing with that pick and roll today? I mean, it's not very, not, not very good, are they? So we can dead that. We can also, dead, we can also dead that argument. Every kid, every combine, they doing pick and rolls, it because it honestly no, it's, it's no clock, it's no clockwork to stopping that. And None, I don't think they zero. Find one. And, and just, but, but, when, but when the possessions are needed to be, when when there are possessions that are needed from Stockton or Malone, it's in particular Malone. But there mm-hmm. was moments where yes, there were times where the defense was able to scheme around that. So the point I'm making is that. When you have a player that is that level and is yep. producing at that level, especially alongside the team that he has, 
-hmm. there's no way we're going to justify him losing in the first round as routinely as they were doing. And, and, I, and I agree with that. There's just no way. We no, know, you got to do that. Okay, we so wouldn't do you that can't any, compensate we wouldn't, for that. Like, we do how that do you compensate for that? Exactly. 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 Who, who does the same thing? But I didn't know. Dub said that it was a four or five seed matchup when they lost in the first so, round. That's what Dub said. And, and, the, I, and, the sec, yeah. and the second thing with that, you say the routine pick and roll. Watching the last dance over my eye to something. If, they, if the Jazz ran the play they did before, before Mike got that steal, we'd probably having a different conversation. Because they ran a pick and roll before Carmelo had the open shot to give him a lead to continue. The next play, they went for him on the block, and Mike just, the rules y'all say, not going with his man because of the legal defense, got the steal. So if they continue yo, running the pick and roll, that's what. Yo, that's but funny, said, Danny, but I got, I got some smoke for Chill Town, but look, I'm going I'm to I'm let you finish. But, but you can say this because it was it's a series against Portland in the early 90s. I don't like this Where Damian he's, he's going, this is the same thing. They're, they're going in the pick and roll <laughs> near, the el near the elbow. And then they know when to collide on, on Malone because they know that um, Stockton isn't going to be as aggressive as a scorer that he may need be to make things more versatile. Then on the other side of the floor, this man Terry Porter dots John Stockton's eye right at the elbow. Or that, that maybe that's maybe I'm thinking about the Sun Series with Kevin Johnson. But he dots him right in the eye to, to inevitably win the series. And those moments, bro, they they didn't perform what they needed to do. You can argue the defense, you can argue, you can argue those things, and that's fair. But there's no way that a player on a team with those, with those teammates should be losing in the first round as frequently as they were losing. It just doesn't. So there's no way that they should have a losing record in the playoffs. So, so low. The, the main thing I'll, I'll say to rebuttal that you kept talking about the field goal percentage and everything. If I'm a coach and coaching against the Jazz, you know what my game plan is? To slow down Carl Malone. <laughs> and let everybody else try to beat you offensively. That's my game plan because, believe it or not, John Stockton is not a reliable scorer. He's not a reliable scorer. So I'm literally sending everybody well, What do you mean a reliable scorer? Like, even, even reliable score. No, no, no. A reliable score as if you could count on this guy when the going gets tough, put up 20, 25 points per game for you consistently. Consistently. Man, he's not that. Yeah, he's, he's not, not that, that, but it matters. It matters. Enough John Stockton of this. To Can me, I please wait, wait, wait. chill Stockton, town? Wait, wait, wait. John Stockton, <laughs> to me, isn't that great of an offensive player. It's in my eyes. But now, he, what you talking about? you talking about the first round well, exits, what? right? No, Let me get into it. We talking, <clears> about, the first round, we talking about the first round exits, mm -hmm. right? He lost. Oh, you could put no. I, I can't let you keep going. What because you mean? I'm John yeah. Stockton is not that great offensive. Even, he's scoring, even, scoring, even I'm not even I'm not the best. No, but this is what I'm saying. Like, how? So tell what? me. Tell me in what ways is John Stockton really that great at scoring the basketball? He just he just no, he just chose not to because of the role he played. But there's the there's not to. Like there's series, there's series, it's not, there's series we averaging like 20, 25 points. John okay, Stockton there's also shoot. series he where he averages. Shoot. There's also there's also a series where he's averaging twelve points or thirteen points or fifteen points in those first round losses that you mentioned. We're not calling Stockton a scorer. We're not calling him but a scorer. But that's the point. That's the point. I see Stockton hit big shots against Rockets teams. Later his career, I seen stocks but Dale, stepped it but up. Dale, like, what you you talked about this with the Milwaukee Bucks is about the consistency, right? I'm no, you're no, no, I'm no, living, no, no. He's I'm living with John. Hey, Shaq, unfortunately, I, I I would love to keep this going, but I got to run. But uh, okay, it, that's cool. I I, I I would love to keep this going, but I okay, unfortunately okay. I got to run because I know that you want some smoke with me, and I absolutely want that smoke with you. <laughs> I, I, I I got I got, and I know the Dame Lillard thing. I I know you want to get into that. But Wait, can you I, just say what is it? Just read the Dame Miller thing. No, no, since, no since he has to go, I just have a yes or no question for Chill. I know you got to go. Is Steph Curry a point guard? No, he is not. Oh, Please. my Stop. God. Stop. All no, right. Not. Thank you, Chill, Bad. brother. That's it. Gotta, That's we, it. Thanks, definitely, we definitely got to. You're right. You're right. No, you're right. No, Thank you, Chill. No, he is not. Well, and, and, before, and before I go, let me ask you guys a question. You guys tell me, what is Steph Curry listed as? A point guard. He's listed as a point guard. What is Joker listed as? A center. Joker is listed as a center. What does Joker do? He's a, he, he's a, he scores. Play make. I don't know. Play yeah, he play makes. Now, let me ask you a question. Who is in the top two? Who, who is second in the league in rebounding? Joker. Who leads the Denver Nuggets in blocks? Joker. Joker. Am I at a line to ask you if you are a point guard at an elite level to do point guard things at an elite level? Where's Steph Curry as an assist player, as an, as an assist man? Jerry Mons in front of him. Let's not get okay. So now. we can, we can, we can, we can, we can dead the, we can dead the conversation with that right there. We're done. We're finished with that. That's you all can. I'm asking. But you that's all I'm asking. Okay. Yeah, that's a, I do. That's an easy, that's a easy fix up because but, every uh, team do not does not have the offensive goal to say Warrior has. They don't have the that. 
They don't have that. If Chris Paul played on the Golden State Warriors, he'd play the same way he does on Phoenix. He would play the same way he did in Oklahoma City. He would play but the they same. Will not, but they will not. The Warriors will not run the offense the same way. They will, all, the Warriors will not run that offense with Chris Paul. In fact, I think he'd be actually better because the offense would be so wide open and he's such a he's such a playmaker. The playmaker that he is and the distributor that he is, he would be so much better. He would be doing what so Draymond saying, is doing. You're, but you're, unfortunately, I got to go. I wish I could stay. I wish I could stay, my man, because we could do this all day. But I got to go. All right, Shaq, thanks for having me, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you, Chim. Peace out, Chim. Yo, yo, point guard, the player who directs the team's offense. That's not, that's not. Yo, Shaq, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh my god all right Gosh, um, player's up. choice tomorrow player's yeah. choice tomorrow come tap uh, in really quick shameless plug you see low and i are twins today make sure you go check out player's choice merch.com go cop yourself some casual merch uh we got the beanies the olympic rings merch uh like comment subscribe do all the things thank you guys yeah, low, for i'm so happy in. you made it bro thanks for tapping Have in bro a great rest of your